Hi, my name is Jennifer Mullins. I'm the owner of Mullins Tutoring Incorporated. Today I'm going to be talking about units of measure to know for the ASVAB, and this is the second part. Uh, the last time I discussed converting ounces to pounds, pounds to tons, and quarts to gallons. Today we're just going to look at inches to feet and feet to yards. So there are 12 inches in one foot. And here's an example problem that you'll see on the ASVAB. So I have three feet and two inches, and I'm subtracting two feet and six inches from this. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just convert all my units to inches. So I'd have three times the 12 inches. So this will be my three feet plus the two inches from the second part. And we're for order of operations, we always do multiplication first. So we do three times 12 is 36, plus the two is 38 inches. I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom part. So I have two times 12 plus six inches. So 2 times 12 is 24, plus 6 is 30. And now that I have everything in inches, I can subtract. So 38 minus 30 is 8 inches. Now you can also do it straight from this problem here of borrowing from the feet and adding it. The one thing I will caution you is when you're borrowing a foot from here, you're borrowing 12 inches and not 10 because we're used to working in the 10 system. But when you have units, you have to use that unit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 12 to my 2 so that I end up subtracting 14 from 6. And 14 minus 6 is 8 inches. The If you had taken, you'd borrowed from the 3 feet and added 10 to the 2, you'd get 12 inches. <clears throat> and what will end up happening, <clears throat> excuse me, is on that test, uh, one of your choices would actually be 6 inches. So that's why you really need to be careful as far as borrowing the proper units. So let's go ahead and look at the second um, example. So what I have is one yard is equal to three feet. And by knowing this conversion, I can solve a problem. Because on the test, a lot of times they're going to go from one unit to another. So in this question, is what is the area of a room that is 21 feet by 15 feet. However, when you go to do, you look at your multiple choice, and I always recommend looking at the multiple choice before you do answer the question. In this one, you would have square yards. So now that I'm looking at square yards, I'm saying, okay, wait a second. They're telling me feet, but I want to convert it to yards. So the first thing I want to do is go over here. My recommendation is convert this to yards before you do your multiplication because remember area is length times width. Okay, so I have 21 and since I know 3 feet equals 1 yard, I'm going to divide both numbers by 3. So 21 divided by 3 is 7 yards and 15 divided by 3 is 5 yards. So now that I have it in yards, I'm just going to multiply 7 by 5, which would give me 35 square yards.
Now, the other way you could solve it is to multiply 21 by 15 feet. The only thing that you would have to remember is we're not, to, when we go to do the division to convert it to yards, we're dividing by square feet because we just created square feet, which would be nine square feet. So my suggestion is to always convert before and then do the multiplication. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please make sure to check my other ASVAB videos on YouTube. Once again, my name is Jennifer Mullins. Thank you for watching.